<coughs> Hello people, welcome back. My name is Art and I'm doing another video. Sunday evening. Um been relaxing all relaxing all day, did some laundry. Nothing much. Took last week I took a week off from the gym. Thinking about going back tomorrow. Thinking about it, but I'm not too sure yet. You know, sometimes you know, for me to do all that, it does help. You know, work out for a couple of weeks and take two weeks off, something like that. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. But anyway, uh, one of my um, viewers asked about Dungeons and Dragons. <coughs> And they, and this person was very and they were very curious about what Dungeons and Dragons was because I mentioned in a video what I used to do. Now, the best way for me to explain this, besides this video, is if you've seen the Netflix show Stranger Things. Now, if you've seen that video, if you've seen that show, the game that those guys play around the table, that's Dungeons and Dragons. Dungeons and Dragons is what they will call a role-playing game, and where you play a role. <clears throat> Very similar to like a TV show or a movie or a play, where you act as this person. You're in it some kind of adventure. One person leads it, what they call the master, or the, the game master, or whatever they want to call it. That person creates. Either that person reads, does a pre-made scenario or makes his own scenario about what happens in this world, <clears throat> in the world that you live in. And whatever the game it is, you play it, you play this character. It's a fictional character. Very fictional. And it's, and it's a good way to entertain yourself for hours. So... I had to go to some boxes, and I dug up the Dungeons and Dragons Player's Handbook from 2000. I think it was the year 2000 or 1999. I don't even know. The only thing I know is that this came out within the first couple years I started working. The first couple years I started working, this came out. This is the like, this is the third edition. This is what a very popular edition. This book was like about uh, well, this book was like twenty bucks. Okay, now they're on their fifth edition right now, which I haven't bought yet. Thing is, is the each book is around thirty to forty bucks. Okay, so you need technically three books: the player's handbook, which tells you the player what you can and can't do, and this is about a well, two, two, three, almost two and a hundred and fifty pages of things for Dungeons and Dragons, where you play medieval. It's all medieval. Okay, so like knights, dragons, ogres, and orcs and shit like that. That's what you fight. The other one's called the G the Game Master's Book. I used to have one of those, and a Monsters Manual, which is little, so about sixty bucks. <coughs> you can have. We had years worth of entertainment, years worth of entertainment, and it's limited by your imagination. It's only limited by your imagination. Okay. I remember one time I ran the year campaign in which for a solid year I made this whole world up and these guys went through it you know like they're like buying armor and you know looking like this kind of thing you know it's really fun it was fun yeah I'm a geek I'm a nerd okay fine sue me no big deal and then after this I went out drinking <laughs> after the, after playing after spending four to five hours a week playing, doing this with my friends, I went out drinking. Hilarity ensues. 
another game that I've been reading on is called uh, the new Star Wars. I'm a big Star Wars fan. And this is the new book, Force and Destiny, which talks about Jedis and stuff like that. <sighs> I think this book was around 50 bucks. And the other two books were like 50 bucks a piece. The starter games were like 30 bucks a piece. So I bought all three of them. So I spent a little over 300 bucks. But with this game, I could play it forever. It's limited to my imagination. And I haven't played this yet. I haven't did anything with this yet. I just thought it was cool. And I was getting ready to do something with this. And then our gaming group kind of dis dissolved because of some internal mechan internal strife that was going on. And it came to crash in LA Domino. So technically for the last three to four years, I haven't done this really. Every now and then, we, I might pick a, play a pickup game somewhere. But nothing really permanent. So this book right here, you know, for 50 bucks is like 400 pages. So I could technically, this is the actual a whole game in itself. So basically I can play this for the next five to seven years. It was no big deal. Not that big of a deal. <clears throat> but <clears throat> another thing that I was reading was called the Marvel Heroic Role Playing Game. If you've been if you've been watching my past videos, you know I love comic books so this is based off the Marvel comic book set there is also a DC version of it which I bought and I can't remember where that is at the moment but <clears throat> what happened is, is that this is the game in itself this was like 20 30 bucks you know about 20 bucks caught this right before it went out of print this is out of print so if you can find this good luck and of course, as you can see on the back, you could pretty much be any one of these characters. And you could do superhero things. It tells you, you know, one of the things, oh, I'm sorry, the opponent you need is dice. These are special dice. Pen, paper, and these dice. And you're, plus with, the, plus with this book, you're good to go. You can buy any, you can buy the, you know, I bought this thing off a of Wish for like a buck. Which is like this mail order thing. I bought this for like a buck. And I, I love, I love buying these, I love buying dice. Because it's kind of cool. Because I play with them. Sometimes to enhance this game, I'll use figures. Like, um, there's like, there's a lot of what they call mini miniatures, also called miniatures. That you could, that people could paint. You know, you could buy paint and you paint these miniatures. If you saw one of my wargaming video that I did, like a year ago, which I showed you what, what I was doing when I was trying to be sober, <laughs> when I was being sober, my hobby that was expensive, you could buy these little miniatures you could paint them. And also, I wish I had some miniatures of my Dungeons and Dragons stuff or my fantasy stuff that we used that could help us, but I can't figure out where they are at the moment. Cause I got stuff all over the place. Go me. But for this game, I use what we call hero clicks, which is a, which is a, um, different game of itself. Is it what they call a tabletop game, where you get a bunch of your miniatures versus a bunch of other person's miniatures and you battle it out. It's kind of, it's fun. I lose a lot. I win sometimes, but I lose a lot, but that's fine. So, like, say, for example, I bought those things, and I said, oh, I could use this for this game. And I think the last time I did this was maybe, like, three years ago. I did, I did it was a small convention, and I signed up for it to run a game, and yeah, about ten people showed up for it. So I had to read, so, you know, if, 
but there's another gaming convention coming up in the next couple months so i'm thinking about signing up to run this again especially since the new movie the these avenger movies and these marvel movies are coming out for the last 10 years 22 movies 22 marvel superhero movies in 10 years and it became all of them big blockbusters so i figured this would be a good time to brush up on this so like say for example one guy i was talking to he was talking about he wants to be Black Panther. So I said, okay. So I said, hmm. I looked through my Hero Clicks collection. And, oh, look at this. A Black Panther figure for my for my Hero Clicks collection. So if we play this game, he can use this guy while he fights villains. It's a physical representation that helps enhance the comic. The, the game itself. Another person said, you know, I like to be Deadpool. So here's a Deadpool figure. Okay. One person said, I want to be Daredevil. Okay. And I'm like, oh, because the Netflix TV show Daredevil was really cool. So I said, okay, here's a Daredevil figure. If you want to play Daredevil, fine. Just have to figure out a way how to make Daredevil in here. If I can't find one, that's fine. One person said, well, that, there, was, there was some interest in that. I'm like, I'm not, like I said, I'm not sure if I'm going to do that at this convention. But I'm like, who knows? One person said, I want to be the Hulk. So here's a Hulk figure. I'm like, okay, cool. Or Captain America. Or somebody might say, oh, do you want to be Spider Man? Yep. I made sure I had this one because I love Spider-Man. Or some or somebody might say, I want to be the Punisher. So here's a Punisher. So they I could use that to you know they use use that to play. But basically, you know, you just like I said with very little investment now you think about this well you look at it like this some people say well i got a ps3 or ps4 xbox whatever you spend two or three hundred bucks of that and you just play games which is fine nothing wrong with that i play games too <clears throat> i've been playing my new game xcom for a little my new ps3 xcom game for a while it's, that's that's old as hell i've been playing that for a while last couple weeks oh, it's very strategy I'm thinking about doing a video of me playing it and me sucking at it so that's fine and I'm thinking about doing that but that's like 40 minutes long 40 close to an hour long one mission I could last up to an hour and it takes a lot of concentration so it's like ugh. but anyway <clears throat> but like I said 20 bucks through this book there's other books in this line which I haven't yet to look for. I really don't. Because I got so many books. I got so many of these kinds of books. Role playing books. Another role playing book I bought was called Mutants and Masterminds. The third edition. I have bought like 10 books of it. So you could play almost anything. And we did a little thing for that for about a year. So I mean it was intense. Especially me carrying 10 books every week. <laughs> to my friend's house. <laughs> And that's kind of, it's heavy, but, <clears throat> but nowadays with some companies, they offer an electronic version. So, you know, I can read the stuff, read the stuff on my phone or my tablet. My old tablet had my Dungeons and Dragons shit on it. So I was like, okay. So I didn't have to carry big, massive stuff. Everything was, I just loaded everything on this little app that someone made. And I was like, it was easier. <laughs> This was my old, oh, this is my new carrying case. Oh, yeah. A 
another game we was playing. It's called Pathfinder, which is supposed to be the better part of Dungeons and Dragons. Yes, this bad boy was like 50 bucks. <laughs> and we was playing that for like the last year or so before we broke the group up. Yeah. It was so big I had to carry it in my old computer bag. With a little supplement that we were playing with. A friend of mine, she saw this pattern. It's like a ninja pattern. Because I was playing, at one time I was playing a ninja. I love ninjas. And she made me this, uh, this was my dice bag full of dice. There's probably no dice, there's not very many dice in it because they all fell in here. But I'm waiting for the call for us to say, hey, we're starting it up again. Which would never happen. Because I asked some people, say, hey, you're interested in doing this? And no, 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 no. Okay, which is fine. So I had to find a new group of people. Which, it's not too hard, but finding a group of people to hang out with to do this thing is not hard. It's whether you mesh up with the people itself. That's the hardest part. But, um, <coughs> I try to, con I try to control this faction of my geekdom to less than 20 minutes. So far it's 16. But, you know, but like I said, this is what I do sometimes when I get around certain people. But anyway, in a nutshell, that's what, quote unquote, when I say Dungeons and Dragons, there's a whole bunch of role playing games that I do. This is not this is not like Final Fantasy that you play on the video games, where you you playing this and, and this story's already made. Think of that. It's kind of well, actually, it's kind of like that. If you ever heard of Final Fantasy, which is one of the biggest role playing games, you're playing this character. Or a bunch of characters. Now imagine this one character right here. With pencil and paper. You're doing all this stuff. And dice and all sorts of stuff. Doing all these battles and the stuff like that. And that's what basically it is. So. <clears throat> that in a nutshell explains Dungeons and Dragons. It's a little bit more intense than that. And a little more detailed than that. But this is like the quick down and dirty version of what I consider that. So, then this is another thing I used to do a lot. Tell you the truth, if I was still doing this, I'd probably be doing less videos. Maybe. But other than that, thanks for watching. And I hope you tune in for the next one. Oh, I'm sorry. Where is my... If you like it, if you want to leave a comment, leave a comment. 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 Comment, comment, eh, say some stuff to me, <laughs> and I'll reply, of course. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you don't like it, give it a thumbs down. If you want to share this video, share it. That's cool. And with that, I'll talk to you guys later.